Welcome to .NET Code Snippet with Food Code Project. In this video section, I'm going to show you how to work with Employee Details form. In this image, you see left side, I display the MI Detail forms in that I'm displaying data in the Data Grid View Controller. In this Data Grid View Controller, you find two buttons. One is Delete button and one is Update button. This Delete button is indicated to remove entire record of the employee and update button is used to edit the particular employee details in this video section i'm going to show you how to edit employee details before that i want to uh, create a store processor for that open the database i already written a store process here i given a store process name as get employee details i want to get all the details except password select employee ID. Check find the button can grid view button column just clicking and make it as a header name is delete one. I already added this button so I'm not adding this. In this way you can add update button. Okay. Then afterwards you just need to write a code to fill this grid view counter first. You can see I have a written the grid view fill data here just getting all the data from the database by executing this query by executing this query I'm getting all the data and I'm binding the data into the data grid view data source data set which is I'm binding the data into the data grid view control to perform update and delete operation on the data grid view control we have to we have to declare this method the data grid view cell content click this method will get you have to select data grid view control and go to the properties in this event you will find this cell content click under mouse cell content click just double click on this that's it you have to write here the column index here you have to mention column index because here you see I have four controls uh, before let me show you you see in uh, in data grid view control have four five six columns I have one first column second column first column is displaying as delete button second column is displaying as update button third column is displaying employee IDs employee name fourth column fifth column address sixth column phone number so I want to do something uh, when I click on this delete button so this delete button have in first column column index just that's the reason I'm calling that column index equal to zero if I click that I'm declaring the business object I want to get that uh, cell value there is nothing but I want to get this I want to get this employee ID so I'm declaring that data grid view dot row e dot row index I have to catch this row index so 0 1 2 the row index is 2 I have to cast that row index and cell number 2 the cell is 2 to get this employee ID and getting the cell 2 dot value dot 2 string uh, in this a string we contain that uh, row index value here and we are passing that row index value to uh, employee ID 
I'm passing that value to this delete employee method once that query will execute it it's come to this message and this field data grid view will bind again let's check this I want to remove this employee 1003 just now click on this delete button then afterward the data will be displayed only two rows okay when I click ok the three uh, three rows will become two you can see here now I want to edit this employee name here instead of Kiran I want to display Kumar and instead of Mumbai I want to display Che Bangalore Bangalore uh, for that I have to display phone number okay when I click update button the data will be updated you can see in this grid view control here I have two rows Kiran Mumbai something here when I click update button data is updated you can check here Kumar Bangalore data is updated in this way we can update and delete the employee details hi welcome to dotnet test debate with support project in this video section i'm going to show you how to work with welcome to new to employee record form with food code project admin create in this the employee section, details i'm going to show you in food code how project before go through this form i want to show you how i designed the in this uh, database 